right on. These pods aren't designed to operate outside the network service area. So let's get the distro center linked up already. Singularity, the possibility that someone might create an AI smarter than any human, but it never happened. 
Machines don't cause void outs. They can't die. They don't have beaches. No matter how far they come, machines will never understand death like we do. And because of that, they'll never truly surpass us. Get on the delivery terminal. I'll walk you through how to use the bots. And don't worry, I'll keep an eye on things from over here. These are simple, run-of-the-mill orders only. Take a look at what's available. Cargo transported by a bot is liable to get a little roughed up if the road's poor. On the flip side, a bot traveling on a well-maintained road is more likely to deliver cargo in better shape. Also faster, in case it wasn't obvious. Keep that in mind when sending them out. Now we wait for the delivery bot to reach its destination. As of today, there's just one, but if the test succeeds, we'll move ahead with mass production. Then you'll be able to dispatch them yourself. Oh, um, seems I misspoke. We managed to slap together another delivery bot for field testing. You can decide how to use this one. <sighs> Sorry, baby's fussing again. Thanks, Sam. We'll talk later. Good work, Sam. These autonomous delivery bots will benefit everyone, from folks in cities and way stations to preppers out in the back of beyond. But you must be exhausted. Why not take a break? I bet your BB could probably use one, too. Head for the private room. Go on. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. You were sleeping when I dropped by. Thanks for the shower. Right. Look, I gotta ask. I've been hearing things about you. She's in bed with terrorists. Don't trust her. She's just another dumbass Higgs fucked over. She's a goddamn hero, that woman. <laughs> Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? 
way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Heeks made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain a lot from a partnership. Business was pretty good at first. But then, a year ago, when those fanatics started stirring up trouble, Fuckers hijacked our system. Somehow they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine, and I didn't even know. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. Higgs was behind it all. And on top of that, he got his hands on an old school nuke that I ended up carrying right into Middle Knot City. You tell me then. Yeah. It was me. I blew it up. Could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried to get the nuke out of the sea. But Higgs was one step ahead. He took his pound of flesh and then some. Some wounds. They don't heal. Whatever time I've got left, the rain took. So there you have it. Everything's true. Except for all the lies. I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together. But I'm not about to let Higgs and some terrorists take my father's legacy and shit all over it. That's why I came to you. So, trust me now. I'll be there for you, Sam. All you have to do is call.
Hey, Sam, those new sites you've brought into the network have helped us to restore more of our archives. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to dig up anything about the BB's origins. And I'm completely locked out of BB-28's service record. If I could at least access that, I might be able to tell you why you've been experiencing those strange episodes. Well, I'll keep at it. You do the same. Sam, check the terminal for available orders. City's regional archives. The records corroborate her story. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No reservations about working with her then, I hope. Good news, Sam. The bot you sent out made it to its destination. The test was a success. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. Sam. A new delivery type has been added to the terminal. Your hard work's getting noticed. Because of that, there's been some talk of offering a premium service. Now, it might seem like a hassle to willingly take on extra restrictions, but if you succeed, you'll boost your rep even more. So, if someone asks you to deliver within a time limit, you could counter it by setting the limit even lower thereby earning yourself a better evaluation if successful. Now, if you're feeling up for a challenge, give it a try.
Sam, if you'd like someone to take care of a standard delivery for you, you can put the relevant cargo in a share locker. Should a fellow porter decide to lend you a hand, they can deliver the cargo to its destination, where it'll be held in a nearby storage unit. Looks like some cargo has been transported to its destination on your behalf. You can access the share locker to collect it. Sam, sometimes other porters will return Bridges' vehicles to the garage. They're for everyone, so feel free to use them if you want. Sam, you can now submit upgrade requests for structures. If there's one you use a lot, you should definitely consider it.
Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be weapons restrictions lifted.
Ah! 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 